Katie Gensler from Minnesota United FC. You get to see your favorite players on the pitch, but what is life like for them off the field? I'm here with Brent Coleman. We're at Bill's Gun Shop in Robbinsdale, and we're going to shoot some guns. Don't try this at home. You go first because you've actually taken a gun safety class okay. for hunting, right? Yeah, firearm safety. Firearm safety, so they walk you through everything. Not too bad for not doing it since I was 15. So six Coleman kids, the biggest question, who is the best soccer player among the siblings? I'm gonna have to go with Cassie on that one. She's playing down for FC Kansas City. That's cool. Yep. I'm glad you said that because it would have been really awkward to have to call you out on that. I was... You went Jurassic Park. I went Jurassic Park. Yeah. Do you have any routines that you stick by, watching a movie in the hotel room at night or, you know, on the bus, anything like that? And I don't have, I don't, I'm not the superstitious kind of guy, so I don't really have something I watch every time. So if you wanted to watch Jurassic Park on the road, you would do it. There would not be anything If I was it. flipping through channels in the hotel room and Jurassic, I came across Jurassic Park, there's no way I'm turning it anywhere else. Should we name him? Is that like cruel? I mean, you can give him a name. Terry the T-Rex. That's really scary. I got him in the mouth. All right. Do you think you took him down? These next shots. I think these three. I mean, I hope so. It's unique to have brothers on the team, but it's also unique to have local guys playing on the professional level. You and your brother are from Woodbury. You now coach here, so you've seen soccer kind of from the ground up, so to speak. What are some of the biggest changes you've seen over the years? I think the kids play a lot more, or at least that's what it feels like now, especially being on the coaching side of things. It seems like there's always tournaments like all over the all over the state. Just the kid, the kids keep really busy. So with the way soccer is growing in our country, you just that's going to be more and more popular. You would definitely have saved us both. I would have dropped him? Yeah. You would have dropped it. So let's make sure I have the gun. <laughs> if it ever happens uh, that Brent over. and I find ourselves being chased by dinosaurs, Brent gets the gun. I'm okay with that. And I even got this guy up. Were you actually aiming for that? Yeah, I said at the end I was going for these guys. Oh, I thought you were going for Ted. You named no. them. Harry, yeah, Ted, Brothers. Huh. Not bad. Not bad. There's still two games remaining as Minnesota United looks to finish in first place during the spring season. And you can join us for the official watch party on Saturday, May 31st at Brits Pub in downtown Minneapolis. Minnesota United is taking on the Atlanta Silverbacks and kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. You can get all the details at mnunitedfc.com. For Minnesota United, I'm Lindsay Gensel.